wrong way. Same day, but I'm gonna just continue reading now. Hopefully I don't have another uh, issue. Anybody figure out what nuts to Philadelphia and Harrisburg means? I'm not quite sure what that one is. Anyways, all right, here we go. Chapter 34, this is a super short chapter. Uh, it's a letter uh, from Gemma to Nell, and it's called, In Which Gemma Gives Me Clues to Find the Maple Tree. December 17th, 1860. December 17th, so a few days before Christmas time, okay? And if you recall, she Nell had mentioned that she went to, in the last chapter that she had gone to the cigar box and had taken out the letter from, um, the last letter that she had received from Gemma, okay? Dear Nell, does it snow there? We had a blizzard last night that will keep us locked inside until Christmas. I don't know what I'll do to keep the little ones happy. All they want to do is play blind man's buff and ghost in the graveyard, but that's hard to do inside our tiny house. Ha oh, ghost in the graveyard. You should play that with your family. I can hardly get a moment to myself these days, so I'm tucked under a blanket trying to write to you by moonlight. I'll make it fast, lest mama or the little ones catch me and start to holler. Mama told me something the other night once the babies were asleep, and I need to tell it to you quick. She said, the pickled onion didn't know about the Underground Railroad back when she lived there, and neither did her husband. It was secret, even though our families were friends. I believe the maple tree is the only one who could explain about it, if only you could see him. I know sometimes the pickled onion takes you traveling with her. If you get to vis visiting Phil O. Dell again, Call on the maple tree. Mama doesn't know it, but I've been told where to find him. He lives at the corner where two streets meet. One street is a number. The age your brother was when he died of scarlet fever. The other is something I used to put in your hair to scare you. No matter who else might be reading our letters, you're the only one who can figure out this cipher. Just use that smart head of yours. Your friend forever and ever, Gemma. I love this. So this cipher really is one that we can't even figure out because we don't know these really specific details, okay? So one detail is uh, it's a street intersection in Philadelphia, and one of the streets is the age at which her brother died from scarlet fever, and the other street is something that she used to put in her hair to scare you. Hmm, very interesting. The chapter was called In Which Gemma Gives Me Clues to Find the Maple Tree, so she definitely has. Interesting that Aunt Kitty didn't know about the Underground Railroad um, back then, um, because now it, it, it seems like it's definitely something that she, you know, knows about. Okay, that one was a really short one, you guys. To give you an idea, I'm on page 283, and the book has a total of... 346. So we are less than 100 pages. 46, 56 plus 7, 63 pages left in the book. Okay. I wonder if I can do that all next week. I think I might post one or two a day next week. Get to it when you can though, of course. All right. Bye guys.